Yeah, 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 there's no game. I've got Eerie of Crows again, look. This is a map offering. I think, I don't know if there's a map offering last game. I just realized there might have been, to be honest. But yeah, when, when we have games like this where it's deep end technically, it, it is what it is for me. I just kind of whatever, like, we just, I just play like it is and, and if they win, they win, you know. If they get the gens done, they get the gens done. Cool, it is what it is. Yeah, artist is very difficult though, to be fair. Weird lack of gen progression. The only explanation is they're in the middle building, which is weird. So I'm just going to bash down this door. Interesting we've got no bites on that. How far did they go? Wow. Poor Steve. Yeah, he's got object, right? Yeah, he's trying to get my attention with object. Bit of lies there. He's going to jump and he's going to run. There you go. Off he goes. Like I said, mechanically here, I can't really catch this guy, you know? Take the toolbox away. Lovely. Michaela, who was on that other gen, gets chased now. It's good. Let's even cut Michaela off, maybe. Wow, look at look at all you have to do, look, against Knight's Guards. Look. Just run right around like a wide angle. The plonk has still got hit though, I'm not sure how. That's insane. Take his toolbox, lovely jubbly. Bit of corner trapping going on with this map, I think. I think you can get trapped in a corner pretty easily by an accident. Um, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice little structure, I guess. One I'm building at the moment is 95 Castrol Supra, and you have a Toyota Celica and this in Skyline for your personal projects. Good, man. You earn money, right? And you earn money to spend on your hobbies, right? Like, you know, everyone's got their own hobbies and things you enjoy as a pastime. And doing some stuff like that is therapeutic in a way, I think. This guy's interestingly designed to solo heal up here. So, we'll definitely put a stop to that where we can. I'm going to pot the guard here just so hopefully it can spread for the noise notification there. When he vaults the window. Nice, it did. It's really good when that happens. I don't know where he went, to be honest. Nice. Let me just run around the circle. He purposely wants to waste my time, does Steve? Where did he go? Is he around here still? Yeah. I was hoping to drop down the Carnifex would get him, but this is a really powerful position for him to be in. Assassins should be able to get him here for sure. Nice. Oh well, that's sucky. Healed up though, lost pressure on everyone else, so now we've pretty much got to make sure Steve dies. Like, we, we can't have him messing about again, man, running around like a plonk. Gotta kind of make sure he dies. Although, first talk, that's not good for me, to be fair. This map can do wonders if you work it properly, like if you run the middle area properly. This map can do wonders for survivors that know how to use it. Similar to Dead Dog's building, really. Hmm, weird. It's a good hook, because survivors have a bit of a journey and they've got to travel to get to it. Which is always nice. Get a chase on with someone over here, hopefully. And get someone. Ah, never mind. They got up there, bastards. They always run at like the right time, you know. They always go at the right time. Nice. I could have just knocked it down myself. <laughs> what a plunker. Nice. Steve's looking for a heal, man. He's looking to get in that boon totem and heal fast. Not gonna happen. Can get this guy down, I don't mind. Someone else being chased. Heal. Uh, Steve's gonna try and solo heal. Um, tricky though, without without getting. Well, I guess boon totem can help him a little bit, but tracking him around the back here. 
Very weird direction he's running, to be honest with you. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? I did not see that coming. Where does Steve want to go so bad? He's trying to get healed by other people. Nice. Good DC there. Looks like we have ourselves a counter. Second one, too. Jesus Christ. Come on. Another one. Another one. Uh, that's them dead. Is my fucking. Is my DJ Khaled just working? I don't know if it worked or not. Oh shit, there's still a Meg running around. When did that happen? Shit. I started getting like. I, just, I gave. I just. I thought it was over, to be honest. No Meg's at. Surely Meg unhooks now and get some bonus points. Surely. I guess you might as well at this point, right? Yeah. Makes sense. Especially if I walk away and give that window light. It makes sense to unhook and get yourself some points. Why not? Where's Meg at, dude? Oh, I guess Meg's there. It's an absolute mad one, this girl. I always thought I was going to bait it. I didn't bait it. Boom, boom. Start getting ready to do your aftermatch there. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It wasn't like the aftermatch screen. I was just looking at why if my sound alert was playing for the DC. I didn't know if it was or not. I was going to see like if I could just play it manually or something, but it was too late. It don't matter. Wait, I looked down by the 2DC. Um, this game was too difficult. Pretty much. Um, I had Steve running the middle building quite nicely. He was trying to use like quite a powerful spot for survivors to use in the middle building to solo heal. Um, you know. Steve was healing in a powerful middle building spot. Uh, we hooked him. And then after the hook, he, he has the perk object of the obsession on. Which means he can see me and I can see him, which is again a ballsy perk to run, right? But good if you you know if you're confident in looping. So after going after another survivor, I went straight back towards him so he didn't get time to heal. Um, and after going straight back towards him and downing him again and not letting him heal like he wanted to, uh, he DC'd and then his friend DC'd, I guess. Pretty much what happened. Look at the useless guard, dude. Fucking, I can't believe they've still to this day. Not path that AI properly. It's so crazy. Hi, Dean Balzard. Nice to see you. Yeah, just too difficult, man. If it doesn't go their way, like, you know, they got a boon totem up and he's like, I want to get to the boon totem. I want to heal. Bro's running object of the obsession and, you know, we go back towards bro and bro DCs. That's about it. That's about as simple as it gets, to be honest with you. There's another boon totem. I don't know what that's doing, Michaela. You can't even just solo heal in the boon anymore unless you got a med kit, I guess, but... Yeah. Yeah, uh... Second game, I think this is. And, uh, no disconnect in the first game, but... Uh, two DCs in this one. Excuse me. I don't really know where the boon totem could be. It could be anywhere. I'm just kind of walking out on purpose to, uh essentially let them unhook and get some extra points here. Uh, it's my inadvertent way of, you know, giving back to the survivors that didn't DC. Um, it's not explicitly farming, you know what I mean? But it's like, you know, it's making them feel like they're earning something, you know? Making them feel like they're unhooking and earning something. I actually don't know why I hooked the guy, to be honest. You know, you fucking remember now. Fucking hell, they both healed faster than they are at record time, no? 
Get a record time heal they just did. Incredible. How did you just around with Pinhead? What was around with Pinhead? How'd it go? Which Maya's achievement are all of them? Just play DVD, DVD games, got Maya's achievement. Oh, is that the um, the one to kill four survivors by your hand? Aw, I was kind of like walking past the locker looking like I was going to open it just so we'd see if it'd jump out, but it wasn't actually in there. Seeing if it'd jump out in a panic. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy hole. This guy's like being a ghost, he's like leaving scratch marks everywhere. Four survivors coming soon, just out the perks for it. Fair dues, fair dues. Mirror Myers, classic. What's the achievement now? Oh, just the adept got you, got you. That's sick, man. That's amazing. Just randomly get the Myers adept achievement. Like, that is nothing to scoff at, my friend. Ah, poor guy. Walked right in as well. God, ran like right into me after all that as well. Bizarre. Uh, I mean, again, they're just getting more extra points right at the end of the game. Why not? My guy might get hatched now and then gets a nice cheeky bit of points as well. So chase points, gen points. Makes sense. A win is a win. Exactly, man. Exactly, Balzar. That's crazy, mate. Like, honestly. To get the adept achievement like that just on a cheeky little game is awesome, man. Bro is getting into the killing spirit. That's what I like to hear. That's all I like to hear, really. Anyone from the chat get into the killing spirit is always a good time. It might be over there. Izai, Izai. Bit of extra points for the guy. Bum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum dum ba dum ba dum dum ba dum ba dum. Maya's adept with infinite tier three. Let's go. Oh, the hatch is right there too. This is a game of RNG, unfortunately, dudes. RNG game was lost. Got some chase points at the end of the game though. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. So wait till he goes and touches the door and then it just pops no way out in his face. I guess mad chase points for this though at least. Really enjoying himself. <laughs> really enjoying himself with the drop down. Hey. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Chill guy. He just wanted it to be over, man. Makes sense. We had no way out as well. And I was contemplating letting him touch the door with no way out, letting it time out, letting him open the door, and then hitting the guard on him to use the eerie banner. But it would have been just a waste of time, really. Shame about DCs. Yeah, so I think um, Steve brought the map offering. That's a classic. That's a classic. Thought we had a what the hell moment there, but you downed me.
Uh, I got my home hat. Ah, uh, sick. He said he got his, uh, he had like a fall from height, like achievement or challenge or whatever it was. That's pretty awesome. That's cool, man. So he got his fall, fall from height three times while in a chase uh, achievement, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's cool when you give when something good comes out of something like that, you know. We had um, Steve who DC'd first um, map offering, obviously. Um, object of the obsession. I'm not sure why. Why would you run that specifically if you're not really happy in a chase and going down? Like, I don't know why you'd run that. Again, the only thing I could think of is a is a, um, is a challenge.